Amazon.com, Amazon.com. How rich do you think billionaires are? It's Jeff Bezos. Uh, Jeff Bezos is here! Oh! Great actor! Bill Gates. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg or, or Buffett, the first one that comes to your mind. But now, the wealth of the richest guy on this planet, Earth, is going to blow your mind. Hi, welcome to SpaceX. Uh, Three, two, one. In the last few weeks, you may more or less hear the name of Elon Musk even if you don't know nothing about him. Elon Musk's net worth has surpassed 300 billion, yes, 300 billion dollars, making him the first person in the world to reach the milestone. And it also means the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX is now worth tens of billions more than the second richest man on Earth, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon.com. On the 2nd of November, Musk was worth 335 billion thanks to a jump in Tesla shares. That's more than Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates combined. Before being replaced as the richest human being, Jeff Bezos has dominated the global rich list for several years. On the 6th of April 2021, Forbes published its 35th annual world's billionaires list. Despite the pandemic, it was a record-setting year for the world's wealthiest, with a $5 trillion surge in wealth and an unprecedented number of new billionaires. There were not just more billionaires than ever, and the rich were getting richer as well. The Americans sitting atop Forbes' new list of the world's richest were far wealthier than they were a year ago. Forbes said, the world's billionaires are worth $13.1 trillion altogether, an increase from $8 trillion just a year ago. The biggest winner was Elon Musk, who has catapulted from the 20th wealthiest American on the 2020 Forbes World's Billionaires list to the second richest in the world of this year. But within just a few months, Elon Musk is now the richest man in the world. Well, that's okay. <laughs> All right. well, At the beginning yeah. of 2020, his fortune was only $27 billion. Hmm, poor guy. Can't even afford a better couch. No, it's terrible. <laughs> this is not a good couch. But within one year, his net worth has rocketed to $195 billion. Or you can say $46,890 per second. On October 26, 2021, according to Forbes magazine, Tesla CEO Elon Musk's wealth jumped to nearly $300 billion, making him the richest billionaire in Forbes' statistical history, thanks to the surge in Tesla's stock price. We've had a fantastic year. Well then. Oddly enough, last year has been an enjoyable one for the 724 billionaires in America, well worth a collective $4.4 trillion on Forbes' new 2021 World's Billionaires list, up by nearly $1.5 trillion from last year. But even among these ultra-rich sets, wealth is concentrated at the top. The 10 richest American billionaires are worth a combined $1.05 trillion. That's 24% of the US billionaire total. Do those numbers sound pretty far away from us? Absolutely yes! There were 114 million full-time workers in 2017. Their median average salary is $865 per week. Simple mathematics, how many years would it take for an ordinary person to earn Musk's fortune through their work? The answer is 7.1 million years. Which means you should have been working since you were an ape. And remember, don't spend any coin on food and accommodation. Only in this way you will probably make it. But some might say, I don't expect to make that much money, and what I want is just to be richer than I am right now. Well, you will surely be interested in what follows. In many cases, there is never absolute fairness in the world. Therefore, mega cities attract talents from less developed regions by virtue of resources, while rich people accumulate more and more money by virtue of information and wealth. Some of you may think it's just like running financial management, 10 million and 1,000 of income as a principle are different beyond all question. However, this is the only surface, for there are many other profound reasons why you don't made it to the top of Forbes list, not me and not you. First law of making money, switch your mindset. As we all know, some make money and some lose. This is the iron law of the market, and it will not change whether it is in buying stocks or running companies. If everyone makes money, who loses and where does the money come from? The people in this world cannot all be rich, also cannot all be poor, but the rich will always be the minority and the poor will always be the majority. It's a rule of the market, there's nothing we can do about it. But there's always a way leading us to the 10%. 
To be rich, you have to change your mindset and learn their beliefs, habits, and behaviors. Rich people think long term. Poor people live on instant gratification. Rich mindset seeks to spend their time, resources, and energy on work that continues to pay off long after the effort has been invested. It's all about getting a flywheel spinning, creating a system that continues to generate value on its own. Second law of making money: stay simple and stick to it. All roads lead to Rome, but you certainly want to pick the easiest one, which sometimes may turn out to be the most profitable one. Bill Gates became the richest man only by making software. Warren Buffett specialized in his stocks and became a millionaire within a decade. George Soros set his heart on hedge funds and succeeded at last. And Elon Musk is still doing a lot of coding stuff day and night in Tesla factory. Keep in mind that a great life is a result of simplifying everything and then stay focused throughout your life. The third law of making money: set goals. The way to make money varies from person to person, but one thing must be the same: set goals before starting anything. Evidently, the road to success is paved with goals. Without goals, you lack focus and direction. Goal setting not only allows you to take control of your life's direction, it also provides you a benchmark for determining whether you are actually getting closer to the goal. Think about it: having a million dollars in the bank account is only proof of success if your goal. Is simply to be rich. But if your goal is to push humanity forward, then keeping the money for yourself is certainly contrary to how you define success. First thing first, how to set a goal. You can't just say I want it and then expect it to happen. Goal setting is a process that starts with careful consideration of what you want to achieve and ends with a lot of hard work to actually do it. To a large extent, no one could say I'm on the right track before the results showing up. Even Elon Musk has stood at the crossroads many times. Hesitating over which path to tread, in 2011, Elon Musk admitted that it was risky to bet his future on rockets and electric cars. But not being so committed is the biggest risk instead, he said. With his own money, Musk founded SpaceX and SolarCity and held the post of CEO. Even as a college student, he used to think about the real problems the world is facing and what would destroy the future of humanity. In the same way, he had faith in the future of internet, sustainable energy, and space exploration. Therefore, he branched out into the foregoing three fields, starting PayPal, Tesla, and SpaceX in turn later on. What he did is just to follow his goal and never quit, which is definitely possible for all of us. In a sense, the first step is recognizing where you stand and how you would like to move forward. What type of mindset do you possess? Do you want to live your life like a random guy of that 90%, or do you want to make a little change to be the best version of yourself? It is in your hands. At the end of the day, no one cares about your life like the way you do. Okay, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I hope it's helpful. If you have any different ideas, comment down below, and I will catch you up. If you are not subscribed yet, click that red button. Have a great one, and I will see you next time.